The store is empty now. Plans for its future are incomplete. George Scott remembers so well where the men's shoes used to be and ladies' sportswear. And he remembers how downtown used to be, very different. It's changed dramatically, and I think wonderfully. I think we've had a well-planned growth in San Diego. George Scott was never afraid of progress or change. He installed the first escalator in Southern California right here, the first fire escape in San Diego. He remembers fighting to get the May Company its zoning in Mission Valley, got downtown merchants real mad, and that's not all. Well, I went home and told my wife she was very mad at me because that's where she bought her corn, right where the May Company <laughs> built her store, you know. He talked other businesses into coming here. It wasn't always easy. Why don't you go to San Diego? Eh, San Diego, you know, we had that kind of reputation. We really? did? You know, yeah, you know, kind of a hickey town, you know. That hickey town has now become bigger than he ever imagined. How could you imagine a city of over a million people here? No. I don't feel like a lot of people do that are old like I am. I'm very happy to see it grow as nicely as it is. And today, walking through his first store, now an empty shell, George Scott's thoughts went back to 1935. When I went back to the first day that I had ever been here, and that came back to me because I was here alone then, too. And if you keep me talking about it, I'll get tears in my eyes. But regrets? No. George Scott is proud of what San Diego has become and grateful for the part he was able to play in it. I was born in Scotland, you know, and I uh, get an opportunity in this great country. This sounds like flag waving, but it's not with me. It's not with me to have the opportunities that have been presented to me are quite wonderful.